to uh, this this area, the cafe, the shelter, and the raised bed here is just to make this look a lot prettier for the visitors. Yeah. Okay. How does he feel having your staff uh, helping out the community here? I think it's a really good thing. I think it's important to really get engaged. I think it's easy if you're in offices all the time to sort of get a bit remote from the community. So this is out and in the community really doing something. So um, Bar City Farm is a free community resource. So we've got 37 acres of, uh, of meadows, of animal enclosures, play areas, and it's open access site. So anyone can you come onto the farm whenever they want to. Today we're doing a community challenge, so uh, directors and apprentices have come together to volunteer and give back to the community. Have you done many activities like this? Actually I have because a couple of months ago my team did their team building day here, so we built a sort of play area for the farm, so for kids to play in. My name is Mike Plows and I run the Volunteer Centre for Bath North East Somerset. We support um, over 300 organisations across the area, um, recruiting volunteers for them. Um, we have on our website and database over 350 volunteering opportunities, very diverse. Um, and there's probably about, there's lots of them are multiple um, opportunities, so there's over probably 1,000 opportunities you know, right across the area. Um, how, how does it benefit the council? Okay, for an example, here we today we have um, the directors all working together and it's totally alien from their daily life and they, I think you find out about each other a bit more because it's outside work and it's a really cheap and good team building activity. How do you think it benefits you and your staff doing this? Okay, so my job's about leadership development. So today we've got a team of apprentices from the council and we've got part of our leadership team here. So what we've done today is we've broken the team into the leaders and the apprentices and there's no surprise at who's in charge today. We've got the apprentices in charge. So this is all about the apprentices' development and the development of the leaders um, so that we can all work together so that when we're back in the office that we can... Um, look at the times when we've done some really constructive and also have some, some good fun. I'm Jimmy Loud, I'm a services manager for Avon and Wiltshire NHS Partnership and we provide secondary mental health services for the Baines area. We have a service level agreement with the farm, um, uh, it's very broad actually, with, there are several formal groups, service users from inpatient services attend every week. Uh, and there are community groups as well um, and individuals volunteer on the farm. About 140 people who have used recently or are still using secondary mental health services are engaged as volunteers on the farm. Hello, my name's uh, Jilly and I work for Sporting Family Change Foundation. Um, we work primarily with local families across Bath and North East Somerset and we offer um, sports and healthy activities. Um, we work up at the farm because a number of the families that we work with are from the Twerton area. So we once a week we offer a family session up at Southside. Um, we do the sports activities there and then the families walk down to the farm and we spend about another hour in the kitchen doing some uh, food prep, uh, healthy eating, um, cooking, and also talking about nutrition. Um, and then following um, the food that's been cooked, people then eat the food and they have a look around the farm and perhaps engage in like treasure hunts and looking at the animals, helping clean them out, etc. etc. So I think everyone deserves a round of applause.